are two new re-releases being dropped today for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. And what I'm talking about today are Cotton 100% and Panorama Cotton. These are classics from the 16-bit era. They're being offered on the digital stores as well as physical releases from strictly limited games. And so uh, I'm not an expert of these games, but I thought I'd share some gameplay footage and talk about the importance of these re-releases. As you know, the originals came out and they're really expensive to find now. And so it's really cool that uh, these are being offered to a new audience and as well as an affordable price. And so I'm gonna share uh, both games and ask you, which one do you prefer? So sit back, relax, you may wanna grab some popcorn. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with Cotton 100% first. And what you can see here, there's standard mode. You also can play with cheats and there's different uh, screen filter options or save states, really like that. This is a re-imaging of the original more of a light-hearted version of Cotton than the original. And so I, I heard that this is an easier shoot 'em up and so definitely want to uh, show this. Uh, you have different options when on, you boot it up, you have uh, game level normal or hard or easy. I'm gonna give myself the max lives to show you. There's different formations that you can choose, one of four different formations and I really like that. Uh, it gives kind of some variety to gameplay. This is definitely a classic shooter. And so if you're a fan of these types of games, you're gonna be at home. You know, I grew up with the 16-bit era, and so it's always nice to see these offerings, especially to a new audience. You know, uh, you know, finding classic games for many people is very difficult. Oops, I probably just wasted my specials there. <laughs> But yeah, you know, this is a, a, an easier shooter. There's seven stages with two bosses for each stage. I really like that option for this. And it's got nice visuals for that 16-bit era. You know, if you're a fan of, you know, hand-drawn sprite graphics, you're gonna be right at home. If you grew up later and, and want better visuals, well, there's, there's other games for you. There's several cotton games offered on the eShop and PlayStation Marketplace. And so uh, you're gonna choose the one that you like. This is this one, okay? There's also the Cotton Reboot and there's also the Saturn Cotton game that's on there as well. The bosses are really strange in this game and uh, it definitely is just a unique shooter. And if you're a fan of the cute em up genre, then you're gonna be right at home here. Uh, yeah, I just want to show basic gameplay. It's nice that uh, more and more of these games are being offered as I think there's going to be an audience for them. And so there's like an experience uh, uh, gauge that you, f you fill up in this game and uh, your, your power-ups don't appear to ever uh, be powered down. So I like that. Uh, that's, a, that's a unique offering for this game, especially the two bosses per stage is another thing. So you have different various weapons. Uh, you know, just died there, and uh, and pretty neat. Like the enemy design and the background's colorful. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely kind of a classic shooter. And so, if you're a fan of uh, horizontal shooters, especially, you're gonna be enjoying this one. Uh, I like both horizontal and vertical shooters, and this is just kind of a classic offering. And uh, you know, for $14.99 for the digital version uh, and then if you want to go physical route there's collector's editions go to strictly limited games there's tons of different options there and you know these pre-order pre-orders open up uh the one the one thing that you need to know about strictly limited games is it does take a while to get to you it's kind of like limited run games where if you order something it'll take a bit to to get to you eventually but they do a nice job with physical releases yeah I'm enjoying this one. I don't have a ton of experience playing Cotton 100%. You know, this was a Super Famicom release. And, you know, I have some imports in my collection, but I don't have a ton. Oh, that's kind of a cool boss. Definitely kind of a, a pumpkin. Kind of nice, a nice tie-in to Halloween. Very sweet. So, yeah, what do you think of this? Have you played this one? I definitely want to hear uh, in the comments below if you're a fan of this cotton game in particular or if you're a fan of the series. Cool boss. 
The third installment in the Cotton series, you have Panorama Cotton, and this is a late Sega Mega Drive release, and now you can play it on your Switch or PS4. Uh, like Cotton 100%, uh, different control options, uh, you can turn the shot overheat off. I love that. That's important in this game. There's different shaders, uh, save states. I, you know, there's some really neat offerings. You can play this old school. You can play it pixel perfect. Anyways, you can uh, adjust your settings the way you want to play it. And so the first time I played this, I was completely blown away. This is a very expensive original release. Uh, there's even versions that can't come with like a teacup. I guess that's really hard to get. And so, yes. Uh, this is just an amazing 3D shooter. Very different offering than the previous Cotton games. This was definitely a game and is still a game. A good example of what Sega Genesis could offer. Very colorful. Has 3D effects. It really was really kind of like kind of sticking its nose up at, at Super Nintendo. Say no, you you may be color more colorful than me, but I can do just as good. And this is a good example. Just really visually stunning game. I really like what uh, they did here, and it just it just is like it reminds me of like you know if someone told me this was a 32x game, I would have said, oh yeah, totally. I can totally see the additional effects that that you know the 32x is offering. Nope, it's running on standard Sega Genesis hardware, uh, you know, and this is just a straight up uh, port of that classic Sega Mega Drive game on the switch and ps4 and so if you're a fan of cotton and you haven't played this one very different and so i really love what they've done here um you know and i kind of lean towards sega you know i'm a huge sega fan and collector uh you know uh, i like super nintendo but i always kind of lean towards sega because i just but uh, it was something that i just played more and just preferred I, I don't know why other than the fact i owned both of them back in the day but I do lean towards Sega Genesis, so definitely have enjoyed playing this one. I'm not too good at it. It kind of has the same power-up system. You can choose your different speeds um, in this game, and you know uh, there is quite a bit of going on. There's <laughs> not a lot of slowdown. It just throws enemies at you, and the visuals are breathtaking, especially for a 16-bit title. And so if you're a fan of the Cotton series, you haven't checked this out, you may want to, you know, and it's affordable price. Uh, I do like that uh, Einan is offering this, you know, here in the States on the digital marketplaces for PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch, $14.99 a piece. I don't know what I think about that price. I mean, I think the price would have been better at 10 bucks, but these are probably going to go on sale. If you don't like that price, you can wait for a sale as many games do that. But yeah, I you know, and if you're kind of a physical hardcore fan, Oh, I love this part. That's so neat. It's just a neat visual for the Sega Genesis going through the waterfall. And then you have this second part of the stage. Really, really neat that they did that. Just a lot of special effects going on right here. Um, you know, I know I've showed this game in a previous ranking video. And so I want to show it here as I do think it's, it's truly special. Um, I do prefer this one over the Super Nintendo one. But I know there's fans out there that, are, that may prefer the Super Nintendo one over this. Which one of these two games do you prefer? Make sure to put it in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you and your stories. Both these games are available today in both physical and digital versions. Check them out. There are also some other Cotton games released, including Cotton Reboot, which is fantastic. And so I love that these games are being offered again. You know, I'm a big fan of the 16-bit era, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I probably played more Sega Genesis, but both of these games are unique and very different. So which one did you prefer? Comment below. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel, watching my videos. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. So I do think it's important that these are re-released and I want more. I think that more and more of these classic games need to be offered in a legal route so that people can enjoy and appreciate games of yesteryear. So I want to say thank you so much and, and uh, for all the ongoing support. It is most appreciated. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a great day.